Welcome back to our live special post-game show. We just recapped BYU's 31-28 loss to UAB in the Independence Bowl. Now let's talk about a game that just ended here on ABC4, the L.A. Bowl, the Jimmy Kimmel L.A. Bowl between Utah State and Oregon State. What a game. The only bowl named after a person. Congrats, Jimmy Kimmel. The Aggies also looking for their 11th win of the year. Also had some quarterback injuries as well. Let's check out the action from SoFi Stadium, home of the Rams, the Chargers, and Jimmy Kimmel now. The Beavers score on their first possession. The Jets sweep to Josiah Irish. Oh, the luck of the Irish. 20-yard touchdown. Oregon State takes a 7-0 lead. Logan Bonner had a fantastic season. It did not end well for him, though. He gets picked off in the end zone by Akili Arnold. Great pick there, thwarting the drive. Utah State gets it back, and Bonner, trying to get out of trouble, ends up injuring his leg and did not return. This was in the first quarter. So with Andrew Peasley already hurt, Third stringer, Cooper Lega, the kid from Orem High School. His first collegiate pass <laughs> is a doozy. This is the first pass he's ever thrown in a college game. It's Devin Tompkins. Welcome to the big time. Wow, 62-yard <laughs> touchdown. We're tied at seven. After Oregon State kicked the field goal to take a 10-7 lead, Calvin Tyler Jr., the former Oregon State Beaver. 15-yard touchdown. The Aggies have the lead at 14-10. And the Utah State defense clamping down on the Beavers. Nick Henninger busts through and gets the sack. So the Aggies take a 14-10 lead into the locker room at halftime. Third quarter after Utah State kicked a field goal. A little trick oration here. Derek Wright throws it back to Lega. And what can he do? Well, he can rush for a big yes, game. Yes, he can. How good was this? He can throw the ball and run it as well. Then on third and goal, it's Lega. Calm, cool, collected. Finds Brandon Bowling. This is incredible. Utah State up 24 to 10. Fourth quarter, it's 24-13 when the defense comes up with another big play. Justin Rice, the senior transfer, punches the ball loose. Boom! AJ Von Japon Pollock pounces on it. What an effort by the Utah State D tonight. And to close it out, how appropriate. An interception by Hunter Reynolds. And Utah State <laughs> does it with a third string quarterback. The final 24-13. Utah State goes from 1-5 a year ago to 11-3. And wow. last they did it with a quarterback who had never thrown <laughs> a pass in college. That guy can't believe it before tonight. It, it's hard to believe. What can you even say this about is, this Utah State This team? is one of those stories where a guy not only rises to the occasion, but he soars above it. Oh, yeah. What a great debut for Lega. I just, it, it is incredible. We watched him in high school. We Let's knew he could play. Throwing touchdowns to Puka, Puka Nakua. Nakua absolutely. The they won a couple of state titles down there in, in Orem. So you knew he could play. But to to be on the bench all year long, to play behind, he's third string because he's behind and Peasley. Bonner and Peasley. Peasley was out, so they elevated Lega to the second string a couple of games ago, but he didn't play, didn't throw a touchdown, no. or didn't throw any passes. So for him to come and in. Look at him. And, Matt, there he is. Yeah. And it's kind of, the hero street, man. You know, it's kind of. You don't know what you don't know, right? Right. Like, he doesn't know how, how tough it is to be out there. He just, he was ready to go. He was prepared, and he made the most of his opportunity, and that is just a great, great story. Now, the ABC statisticians went back 25 years, and I believe he, they probably could have gone back further than this. <laughs> they went back 25 years. They couldn't find a player who threw his first pass as a touchdown in a bowl game. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever happened before. And he went back yeah. and said, you know what? Let's go for it. And that sent the tone. I love the fact that Blake Anders said, you know what? Let's treat him like yeah. he's Logan Bonner. Let him air it out. And they got a little conservative as the game went on. But Oregon State had no idea what to expect from Cooper Lega because no one knew what to expect from him. They'd never seen him play before. Well, we should have expected Utah State to win this game because they fell behind early, right? right. And this has well, been their well, they only the fell behind season. by seven. And they were on the road, yeah. so you knew they were going to win this thing. They have yet to lose. They didn't no. lose an entire game on the road this season, Eight so now. for them to do what they did at SoFi Stadium against a, a pretty good team from the Pac-12, Oregon State, was just in, impressive, and you can't say enough about the job that Blake Anderson has done turning this program around. And you can't say enough about the defense. I know Leg is going to get most of yeah. the headlines here, and, and deservedly so, but that defense gave up 71 yards on that opening drive, and you thought, uh-oh, Oregon yeah. State may run through, and we saw what they did to Utah uh, a few months ago. But they scored six points the rest of the way. Nick Henninger had three sacks all by himself. I think Utah State had seven tackles for losses. The defense was just unbelievable. Some forcing great play turnovers. calling, too, on the offense. Great play yeah. calling as well. Calvin Tyler went over 100 yeah. yards against his former team. I just think that's just an unbelievable performance by all around. 11 wins at a Utah State and never would have guessed it. Now